Hey guys, it's Friday, April 14th, 9.50 a.m. I got up early to hit some sales. Um, I wanted to, to show you what I got already. So at the first sale, I found this for five bucks. Well, it came in this leather <clears throat> book thing, but inside are a ton of like, oh God, a ton of old pens. But uh, there was a couple things that caught my eye in there. There are a couple of these snap-on um like what are these pocket screwdrivers i think they're called there's a couple of those in there and there's a couple of really nice pens in here too i could probably find a few things that might be worth something if not i'll just have the fun of going through it um there's also fun things like this little guy and at this sale that i just went to i found this for two dollars and this is a bolo for sure I hope it works. I didn't even open it. I just grabbed it and left because it's actually kind of cold today. Um, so yeah, that's all the sales we have right now. But later today, there is a community. Well, it's like a community rummage. It's a small town. So they take all their stuff to like the city hall and then they sell most of it off for like a dollar. So, so yeah, I guess we're just going to go back home. Maybe do some listings from that um, big sale that I went to last night, which you guys saw in the previous video with all those Harley um leather jackets the boots with the flames on them we got all those band shirts so i want to go home and get some of that listed so maybe it could sell while i'm in vegas fingers crossed so i just went to a sale that started at noon found some cool stuff also right across the street from the sale there was an overflowing garbage can with like perfectly good stuff in it so I got like this box, there's a VCR at the bottom of it with a remote, and then there's some blankets, and then there's some more stuff in my trunk too. And it's all just perfectly good stuff, so I'm just gonna go through it, see if there's anything I can resell, and if not, I'll just go donate it to the mission, because at least it's not gonna go in the landfill and goes to someone that will need it. Okay, so here's one box of things that I brought in, that stuff I picked from basically the garbage. So we got this candle, wasn't even used with a holder. Um, we got this guy or lady, this lady. It does have a signature on the back. And we got all kinds of like Western photo frames. All right, so I brought in another box of stuff that was from the trash, basically. These two clear coffee mugs I thought were kind of cool. I've kind of wanted some of these. And there's some random other glass things. There is a pair of Wrangler jeans. I might try to sell those. If oh, we got some sort of a nice coat. A free country extra, extra large coat. Looks to be in good condition. All right, all right. This other box of stuff that I grabbed. Um, it's like a BNSF plate, collector's plate. Got the VCR down there, some Febreze, some decor items, um, some records too. Just really weird that they just, oh sorry, and then there's a remote down there. So I'm wondering if this VCR works. So at the yard sale that was at noon today, it's actually kind of like a tiny estate sale. We got these things. So we got this for $3, this for a dollar. I didn't look it up, but it did say made in Italy on it and it's pretty heavy. Um, this ashtray, I'm going to try to pull a Kevin Commonwealth picker. Got this for myself for listing because I always, um, I have one tape measure that's tiny and I bring it back and forth between my office desk and my listing table. So I got another one. We got this Black & Decker auto tape. This, I paid $5 for that. Um, I just saw it had the Sony Walkman in there. I'd hope it works. And then we got two of these for $275. All right, then I went to that huge rummage sale where most things were a dollar. Got a ton of stuff, so this is going to be a very long video. So, one of the first things I picked up was this for $3, an LOL Surprise Remix. Oh, and then all of this we paid a dollar for, so I got this Halloween bucket. It looks like it, it like expands as you put more in it. It's kind of funny. Um, found one Nintendo DS game, figured I'd pick it up for a dollar. It's not a great one. Um pair of vans and a pair of on clouds oh and this it does say that on the bottom i don't know anything about it i was just like eh, for a dollar we got this polaroid in the box don't know much about it just picked it up and then we got all these um kind of for myself i do collect some little like cute little bottles we got these are some vera bradley lanyards and the, how you can tell 
is if you look at the metal hardware, it will say VR Bradley. Um, got a ring. This one's unmarked, but I thought it was really cool. This cool pottery mug or mug pot. Um, there is a signature, but I thought if anything, I could use it for decor because I thought it was kind of cool looking. We got a giant, oh, it is a dollar coin. It's an older one, but it's like a huge one, like a novelty piece. Got this. I think it's a spoon rest. And it is, um, like handmade. I don't know what the 148 means. Actually, it looks like there's a little marking right there now that I just noticed. Got one of these. Inspired by Kevin Commonwealth Picker, Napa Valley. This one's a cassette box. Then we got this three-piece glass nativity set. Didn't look it up, but I figured for a dollar. Um, we got two of these. It's like incense cones. We got this whole thing of these little pins, but they're like spoons and forks. Got some Vera Bradley wallets. We got this one and this one. Bath and Body Works perfume. Might keep that. I did grab this Tupperware. It does have the spoons. I don't know if it's like a little like salsa dish type deal or what. But yeah, there's what it looks like. If I could clean that up, it comes on a little holder. Got a Scentsy warmer. Got another Scentsy. I have sold this one before. Hello, it's me. Got this Fossil wallet. This, I forgot what these are called but these raise as the temperature changes and they're little hot air balloons. How cute is that? Picked up watches. As you guys know, I had a successful watch whatnot. So any watches that I found that seemed decent, I went ahead and picked those up for a dollar a piece. Got this piece. I saw it was marked on the back, but I didn't look it up. I just saw there's a little tiny stamp there. Bunch of other little pins. This one's actually a little magnifying glass, owl. I have something very similar to that. Some more watches. Um, a little cat pin. It's unmarked, but cat stuff does sell. And it's all in this little dish that I think is uranium glass. So I have this black light pen. I carry one around with me in my purse, and I also carry one, or I keep one, at my listing table downstairs. But, let's see. Yep, it looks like it is a uranium glass. See that glow? Awesome. I don't even know what it is. It looks kind of reminds me of like a, I don't know, like a Sunday dish. I don't know. Really cool. I'm glad that actually is uranium glass. Um, we got a lot of stuff. This is a little hummingbird trinket box, but the lid is actually like a little pin. I wish I had a GoPro for this so I could actually have it mounted. But it's actually a pin, but it like it's the lid too. That's so cool. Um, saw this. I don't know if it's branded or anything, but I thought it was so cute. Just a little tiny hourglass. I got this little guy. I don't know if he's worth anything, but I thought he was cool. If anything, I'll keep him. Fine pewter. I don't know. He's neat. A little school dude. And we got this. I didn't check for markings on it, but it was pretty, and it looks like it never even was out of the box. Actually, it might have been, but anyways, I figured I could just throw this on the dollar auction if anything and maybe make a few bucks, but it is pretty. Don't close that up. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I thought this was hilarious because we're leaving for Vegas in like four days. <laughs> um, Kind of unique. I was like, for a dollar, I don't know. Another watch. It's Paris Hilton. I don't know if that's actually like a good brand of watches, but we got that. This whole thing is... um. You know, you could wear them with suits. What are they called? Like cufflinks or something? A bunch of those. I thought that one had like a little car on it. That one had an airplane. I thought they were all kind of unique. So I grabbed that whole box. Pinch my fingers there. And then we got this. It is stamped Chico's. But it looks like it has earrings with it. There was other Chico's jewelry there. But it was just really ugly. This is the only piece that kind of looked okay that I thought I could resell, but some of those were just, I don't know. I couldn't get myself to grab them. We got this. Um, unfortunately, a piece of it broke off. Oh no, that's an earring. Okay, so we got the earrings, and I thought a piece broke off, and it's actually in this dish, but it's a matching earring. Cool. And we got this really neat. It's like a snake chain piece. 
think it was marked. Yeah, there is a little stamp there. I don't know. These really cool, like, I don't know, mid-century modern fish. This one is damaged right there. And it comes with, like, two cute little bubbles. I thought those were cute. Even though that one's broken. One more bag full of stuff. I did find this. I think it's Adidas. Oh, no, it is Nike. Nike pink pullover. Figured I could sell it locally. Um, got this mandala it's like a, actually a mandala shape it's not like a it's a towel i didn't see if there was a tag on it oh it looks like there is i don't know if that's actually a good brand but i thought it was cute especially it's summer coming up maybe i could use this if we go to the river i did grab one they had a bunch of these home interiors but i couldn't find anything that was like amazing but i did find this it's like a little mosaic shade um there was one sold on ebay and none listed so i figured i'd grab it for a dollar this i actually have for my car so when i sit and eat in my car it goes onto the steering wheel well my friend um said she wanted one and i said i'd look for one for her because i actually found mine at goodwill well i found one at the sale oh yeah they put my name on it because i i made a little pile anyways so this is for her we got these Skechers Delights, or is that what it is? Yeah, Delights Skechers. I've sold a pair of these before that was black and then rose gold, like the color of my nails um, in these spots. And this actually looks really good. I know, I know, I said I need to get rid of shoes, but I have had luck with these specific kinds of shoes. And they're in really good shape and they're really cute. This was actually the first thing I grabbed when I came in. I did see it was damaged, but they charged me a dollar. I mean, I'll pull it out here in a second so you can see it better. These Rainbow Raymates. I have sold maybe like four or five of these. Cons consistently bring in like a good 50 bucks. Um, so we got this one for a dollar. Usually these bottom parts are like a blue color. And some of them that I've sold have this part as tan and not black. So got that need to test it out but it really doesn't take much to test it oh and i found this i thought he was so cute i might keep him for personal use because as you know i have a pet turtle it's a little turtle like a pot holder or a, oh you put like a pan on it if you're putting it on the table <sighs> lots of talking this video i am exhausted so yeah we found this Daytona 500 2004 3XL Goofy Jacket. It is like wearing out, but I still grabbed it. It was the first thing I grabbed. Oh, there's something down here. Another little pin, little rose. Um, so yeah, we grabbed that. I guess we'll see how well we do on it, even though. So yeah, that was everything I grabbed today. I am exhausted i need to get some listings in good morning guys it is saturday we went to a few sales today taco is here being uh my little manager assistant hi buddy um so we went to a few sales and got a few things first sale we stopped at um we got this dragon letter opener they wanted 20 for this and then a little smaller dragon statue. And I was like, well, would you do 15 if I got just this? So we did. And we went to an estate sale type of thing. This lady was getting rid of a bunch of stuff. So all these plush were free. We got a Taco Bell dog, which I found out I do have this one, but we got him for free. Got a couple of t-shirt tails. <laughs> really funny <laughs> little mermaid plush. <laughs> um, we got a, also a pound puppy. Don't mind my dog. She's behind me smacking her mouth. Um, another t-shirt tails and then we got this really cute tea set with cats on it a little creamer dish we got a couple mugs um paid about five for this and we're gonna get over to this five dollars for this wizard of oz doll um she was originally 20 at walmart and we got this new sealed parker brothers Laverne Shirley. I have never heard of this person. Um, there was other board games, but they were in really bad condition. I also got this. I did not comp this. I just thought it was really cool. I think she asked a couple bucks for that. Fozzie Bear, we got him for free. We got this guy for free. Um, and there's other ones listed. It is a little dirty, so we will clean him up. But I think it's for like essential oils. Anyways, got Pyrex. I think she's only charging like three bucks for this. It's in really good shape. 
and it has a lid. So try to set things down carefully. We got this smaller blow mold down here. And then a couple sets of dinnerware. These two were in the bags, and then we got this whole set. Um, it was marked on the back. I think it said crown on it. Castle. Castle. The other C word. <laughs> um, then we got some of these puff and play doll furniture. And then an Avon nativity set. Also, I got two bow molds at the sale, but they're not in the house. They're outside, but they're two Halloween bears. They have like a little cape on them and then a little mask. One of them came with the light bulb. They said it worked, but I'm not going to count on it. A sandbag inside, and then the other one just was the blow mold itself. No light and no sandbag. So I got those to kind of dabble in to selling blow molds, um, since they're kind of bigger and a little bit more difficult to ship. So I ended up paying $85 for everything. I should make my money back on just one of the big blow molds. Hey guys, so I'm currently in my basement getting as much stuff as humanly possible listed right now to prepare for Wednesday when we fly out of here to go to Vegas. And we're working on this. I picked it up at that sale yesterday where everything was a dollar. Well, most of it. Google lensed it. It's actually Swarovski crystal. I didn't notice, but if you look, there is a tiny, oh, it's not on this side, I don't think. There is a tiny, tiny, tiny Swarovski emblem or symbol right there. So that is awesome. Did not expect that. I thought it was just cute because it was tiny, but it's actually crystal. And this is some stuff that I've already listed. And this was also from that sale yesterday. What I didn't notice was it was marked 925 silver. And on the back, it does say Italy. So we got that marked or listed. Hey y'all, we're out in the trailer. It is Sunday. We've got 18 things going out. So I'm gonna pull everything really quickly. First off for 10 free ship. We've got this little um, thing of typewriter opaquing paper. Got this in a random lot from a sale a couple weeks ago. And the other thing is up here, 1170 plus shipping. We've got these two cobalt blue salt and pepper shakers. Very cool. Also, it is so windy outside today. It is awful. For 75 plus shipping, we sold our first mesh snake necklace belt thing we got a lot of these from the auction so this is our first one that's going to sell we paid oh gosh the trailer is making noise um i forgot how much we paid for the whole lot maybe five bucks if even i can't remember if you want to watch the auction video I, i'm pretty sure i talk about it anyways then we got these guys for 45 plus shipping they are made in italy floral frames they're very pretty i almost kept them for myself but we got these for two bucks a piece, sold for 45. And another pair of shoes have sold these for $10 plus shipping. Guys, if anyone needs shoes, check out my store. We've got a ton of them. I will accept any reasonable offer at this point. I am trying to get rid of all these still. And I keep adding to the pile, I know. But um, actually, I'm gonna go through and resort all of this later today, um, make it look a little nicer, hopefully. Then we've got random breakable stuff that's like laying here on top just so it doesn't get broken because my breakable section is also full. So anyways, we're, we got a little bit of a mess here. $8 free shipping. We've got this tiny, I think it's a Star Wars pin. Got this in a bulk buy from the auction. So um, that whole box I paid $3 for and this was in there. So we already are in the profit and we have been for a while. 19 plus ship. We've got this Paula Young wig. $4 plus shipping. We've got this lot of three sheets of Precious Moments stickers. We got this out of a big sticker lot that I bought last year. Already in the profit. 14 plus ship. This is a heated blanket like module. I got this at Goodwill for $275. Um, and I saw it had a decent sell-through rate, so I went ahead and picked it up. Although 275 into 14 isn't amazing, but I'll take it. And then for 16 plus ship, we've got this Sega mug. We got this at Goodwill for maybe a buck or two. I thought it was just really weird, and it does say Sega on the bottom. $7 plus shipping for this. This was a bad buy from Goodwill because after I bought it, I realized I couldn't really test it. So uh, we, we got rid of it, I guess. <laughs> got these Nikes back here for 15 plus ship. I think I got these on Whatnot. 
Um, I kind of hope they'd sell for more, but whatever. They're getting out of here. We need to get rid of some shoes. While I was just pulling another order, I got a cha-ching on my phone. We sold this 17 plus ship. This was actually something I had listed a long time ago, and then it was something that eBay decided to randomly delist, and so I found it again and found out it wasn't listed. So we got it put back up, and it's sold. It's only been up for a few days, so really cool. We sold the other pair of the Michael Kors flats that we have for 26 plus ship. We sold the blue ones just a few days ago. And 35 plus ship. We've got this. I think we got it at Salvation Army. Um, not the one. So we have this for 59 plus ship. This Coach Cherry like bag keychain. Got this on Facebook Marketplace for $15. So we almost not quite tripled our money. Maybe at least doubled it um for this so that's pretty cool you can still find stuff on facebook marketplace you just have to look and the last item makes item number 19 going out we've got this shaking or yeah hanging shaking casper we sold him for 27 plus ship i got him for two bucks at a um a clear out sale just a few weeks ago actually about a month ago i think i got him so that is everything we have going out today guys hey guys it's monday about 7 30 p.m we are out here to pull a few orders to go out for tomorrow, and tomorrow will be my last day of taking orders on the store until we get back from Vegas because we'll put our store on time away mode while we're gone. So let's go ahead and get these orders pulled. All right, we've got these going out for 12 plus ship, these new balances, pink and purple. 17 plus ship, we've got this Vera Bradley crossbody. We got this at the Goodwill bins. It was almost in like new condition. I don't see any wear on it at all. So. It was a good buy. Next, we've got these Fia men's boots, 17 plus ship. I wanted to get more, but I accepted a really low offer on them just to get them out of here because they were taking up quite a bit of space in my shoe bins, so. And then for 20 plus ship, we've got one of these Scentsy little garden dishes. Also wanted to show you guys what I did. It might be backwards for you guys, but I did do trash to cash nails. This one says trash, and then we got two. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> trash, T-R-A-S-H. And we got two cash, trash to cash nails. Perfect for the event on this weekend. The last pair, 750 plus ship for these Clarks. Kind of low, but um, just we're getting shoes out of here, which is the mission. Also, while I'm sitting here digging for the last pair of shoes I sold, you guys would be proud to know that I went to Goodwill today and found several pairs of shoes that I wanted to pick up pretty badly, but I left them behind because I remembered this mess of shoes that I have here at home that I need to get sorted through. <laughs> well, not sorted through, sold um, before I pick up any more shoes. So I did not bring any home today. And we have another item that came from the Goodwill bins that sold today as well. This. Texas Instruments TI-5033. The box is in not great shape, but the machine inside is in very good shape. I don't even know if it's been used. So we have this going out for 25 plus ship. The last item going out is this battery. Got it for a dollar at a grad sale. Sold for 32 plus shipping. Now I think we're gonna go back inside. I haven't listed yet today, so we're gonna go ahead and get some listings done. I got drafts made just for the Vegas trip so I can still list while I'm gone. Um, but yeah. That's all I got for today. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday. Tomorrow we fly out to Vegas, which is so exciting. I'm so ready. Um, I feel a little stressed. So before trips, usually my eye will start twitching because I'm, I get very stressed and overwhelmed before leaving the house. I am a homebody, but I really wanted to go to this. And also I like to stress myself out by making sure the whole house is clean before we leave. So we come back to a clean house. On top of that, I'm trying to make sure that everything's ready for all of the animals. My mom is gonna come check on them while we're gone, which is awesome. What else? I gotta pack a few more orders, which I thought I would do before I record the podcast with Mo, which we'll be doing here in about 10 minutes. So I gotta set up a post office pickup for tomorrow and hopefully they pick up before we leave to the airport. Now I wanted to record a couple extra videos today. I have some like go through things with me videos I wanna do with those glass negatives I talked about. I wanted to do that before we leave Vegas. So yeah, busy day. I'm planning on closing out this video today. So guys, I pulled my last three orders that need to go out before we leave tomorrow. We got this little Halloween toy, it's vintage, for 24 plus ship. This came in a random Halloween lot from the auction. 
Then we've got Team Plus ship. I think we got this at a garage sale for like a dollar or two. And then Team 40 free ship for this. It is a bark box toy. <laughs> Anyways, that is all I've got for today.